Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to RSF1's F4 division here round Japan. It is round three of the season. Um, say the best till last in terms of the divisions. Yes, I said it. F4's the best. Come at me. Um, it's just an opinion, of course. Not trying to uh, anger anybody, but uh, yes, we are set and ready to go. Slightly overcast conditions for the Japanese circuit and after a very eventful round two in Belgium who can continue their momentum who can start their championship properly because there's a few people here and uh yep yeah, just basically who can have a good race and I'm sure we're going to see a good race as well I'm Arsha from Rubens joined by my usual commentator partner for this season in F4 Unity Hush so good evening Unity uh yeah Good evening, Rubens. Uh, glad to be here. Japan. Uh, I think everyone despises this track, so it's going to be interesting how the drivers go about this one. Yeah, it's a very, um, very tricky circuit. Has caught a lot of people out this week, hasn't it? It's uh, there's a lot of corners here that can catch out the unwary. You gotta respect it, don't you? I, yeah, I didn't really do much practice and I didn't do the race, so I can't really commentate on the curves, but what I saw over the over the week, you, you touch them and that's pretty... Ooh, nice boy. Uh, you touch them and you're pretty much gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... Um, so we, we could see a crazy one here today, Unity. Of Well, if anything can top uh, Belgium, I'd be very <laughs> impressed, because <laughs> if you remember Belgium, that was, that was all packed. over the yeah. place. That was by far my most enjoyable race to watch. It kept twisting and turning, didn't it? Yeah. A um, couple of safety cars, a bit of rain thrown in as well. Uh, no rain as of yet, by the looks of it. Which a lot of these drivers will be thankful for, because this track in the rain is even more deadly. But, uh... But if you, re if you remember Belgium, Mr. Unity, who is the guy that has the momentum going forward? Uh, it's the uh, Mr. One Tribal in Aston Martin, I believe. Two wins out of two. Mm -hmm. I believe he got a passive slap as well. I'm not sure on that one. Um, I believe he did. Yeah, I so believe he did. I'll bring up 51 out of 52 bring up the standings in a bit. Not, not too bad to start the season off. He, he's just gone about his business, hasn't he? He hasn't been like... Like, he's been quick, but he hasn't been blistering... Blistering... What's the word? Consistent. Blistingly. No. Oh. <laughs> Blistingly quick. Is, is that the word I'm trying to, trying to find? Oh, a Zeiss boy has a massive side for the Degner. Somehow keeps it valid. I don't know how he's caught that. Yeah, he's been there or thereabouts and picked up the spoils, especially in Belgium, didn't he? Because he didn't lead the entirety of the race. He just picked up from those that, uh, that slid off. Yeah, he just um, he minds his open, so just keeps out of trouble and... He just somehow just gets away into the lead and just wins, so he's a very uh, quiet boy, is Mr. One Tribal. Let's see if he can make it three wins today. Yes, um, I'll bring up the standings in a second, but obviously we're just filtering through as people head out their laps. Ice Boy is going to be the first to set a decent lap. It looks a pretty solid lap, I've been on and off of it, but... Apart from the massive slide in the deck, and this looks pretty oh, decent. Oh, it's a 29 Tedis. point. Oh my god. Uh oh. There was a car in the middle of the road, and Tedis had to take a boy in action. Oh my god, that was a close one. Oh Jesus. Did he avoid it? Yeah, he had to go off into the gravel. Oh my god. It's like, it's like Tiff, he was quite close to. Um, yes, Ice Boy we need to mention because uh, he's a brand new driver into the league he has replaced McCracken there's a couple of uh, replacements we need to mention McCracken obviously in the house um, unfortunately McCracken has left the league for a bit as has Charismic Charismic being replaced by Cornet Star had a very good uh, debut last time out in Belgium as did Pierre who is now Red Bull full time driver replacing 40 so with all three of those drivers we are very sorry to miss all three of them 
But as a league, we have to move on as Ice Boys clipped the curb on the spoon and has gone for a nice little spin. Yeah, I've, I've, been, I've seen him struggling on his outlap as well as his actual lap. I don't know if it's a setup or maybe we've got some wet conditions in the racing struggling with the wet setup, maybe. Ride was invalidated his first run as Cornet Star gets a 28.8. That's a good um, lap. Yeah, I think mid to low, no, mid to high 28s, I think, is around the, around the ballpark, actually. So that's pretty good for Cornet. But we get to see, obviously, a lot of big hitters here. Lincoln included, who's had a, a sixth and a third so far, Unity. A solid start to his uh, campaign as Lincoln. See if he can uh, carry it on. Yeah, he's had he's been up there with the pace. He's just not had the look this season. I'm hoping that will change today, hopefully. 29.4 is his opening lap. Uh, Source has just joined the session and has literally just popped out onto a lap in the Alpha Tauri. That's the thing I do like in this in this game, and I think it was in last game Unity. If you are a little bit late to the session, you can sort of jump in and uh, get going. It's uh, very fortunate that is actually a thing. Yeah, I can remember back on F1 2019, people had to rush home, and it wasn't a very nice thing to do, so it's a good feature they added it in. Mm. Obviously, you've got to join before the start of Q2, though. That's the only thing. <laughs> yeah. Right, who else have we got we have in the lobby? We've also got uh, a reserve, Trick Two Pines, in the Ferrari, who is reserving for Rogue, I believe. And apart from that, that's uh, of the usual names here. We are missing one. Oh, oh figure out who that Desmo. is. Oh my god, how have you got the wheel on? That top of the S's. Yeah, going up the hill, I believe. I think he must have touched the curb. Yeah, no wing. He is a lucky boy. Currently sitting in third, so that would have been a very fatal, uh, fatal uh, DNF. Because I would say he's, I wouldn't say he's most definitely safe, because it is quite close. First nine times on the board. Yeah, very lucky. Ooh, here comes Mr. Kachal. I ain't seen him in a while. Sick. I think I think Kachal's another reserve. So yeah, few uh, few names set in their first impressions, which is. Ever important unity, especially in any any sort of league. Get your first impression is a good one, or well, make sure it's a good one. Yeah, the last thing you. But want... we know Kachow anyway. It's not it's yeah. not new new, is he? So the last thing you want is your, in your first race is to not perform well. Obviously, new faces, new drivers. You want to get to know your fellow drivers and respect each other. Mm -hmm. Also, just heading down 130. He's got a lot of traffic ahead of him. Um, he is on a lap, I think. No, he's... Oh, is he? Is Source on a lap? Oh, it's Source. Uh... Yeah. No. like he's fully properly accelerating. He's got 100% of the US. Yeah, now he's going. Yeah. What else is on one? Immortal. Yeah, Immortal just heading his way through the S's. Um, it's Immortal. Third and a ninth. So far, immortal. Remember that third place in France from the back of the grid, <laughs> and he did the same thing in Belgium, didn't he? Because he crashed out in Q1. So, can he finally make a Q2? <laughs> oh, don't jinx him, please. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> so the one thing I remember about Belgium is I made a lot of commentators curses, I just made another one. I was literally about to say, please don't say oh. anything. Oh no. <laughs> Millsy's like, why, Brunda, why? That's like the fourth commentator curse this season you've done. And it's round three. <laughs> oh, How no. does that work? Oh my god. No, it's even worse. I drive for Williams. I want him to do well, and he's... Oh, he's got to do it again. <laughs> oh, no. He's going to be having words with you after this race. Yeah. Oh, trip to Pines. Getting a little bit of slipstream. Ooh. Who was that on the... Oh, old man doing off the track. Okay. There we go. Ooh. On the run to 130, are very deep into the chicane. Somehow kept that on track. Oh. 
Triplos just put in the chat, breaking news, he's moving to F3 next week. I don't know if that's true or false though. Wait, if he's saying it himself, then... You never know, because they could like be joking around or he could be serious, so I'm not sure. I don't want to be that guy. But I'm going to be that guy. If that is, like, proper... Um, a thing, like you're definitely moving to F3. Why are you racing this one? Oh, I don't want to be that guy. Like, I'm not, not joking, saying not. So he actually is moving to F3. Yeah, I, I'm not saying not race, but you, you get what I mean, right? Uh, yeah, I guess what you mean. Um, he probably just wants to. He wants to probably say goodbye to the team, maybe. Yeah, good. But oh, sauce. Oh, no. that's that's no. where you that's where you lost. I'm pretty sure, is it not? Yeah. Oh, I must have done the same as you then. I went on the freaking wrong color car. Oh, oh god, yeah. <laughs> just under the bridge, just before the bridge. Oh, he did a. Thing is, he set a 29.2. He would have been okay to go through the Q2. Well, we'd lost another one. Oh yeah, I just seen it. Almost would seem a uh, similar situation, I think, <laughs> to uh, how I crashed because I, I lost it the first egg and I just couldn't catch it before the second. I had a 29.9. Oh, Jesus Christ, Clark. <laughs> I remember Clark, you almost did the same thing as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jeez. Right, Mr. Tribal. Let's see if, again, I'd rather, like, no. It's, it's kind of awkward now. Because, like, <laughs> if he wins, he's going to say, well, well bye. <laughs> saying if he wins. I'm not saying he will. Hopefully, he kind of does, in a way, but. 28. 28 8 is first gambit. I mean, if it was his own decision to move up, I do respect that a lot from Tribal. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Because not many drivers would like have to be moved up if they're near the top. So if he did ask to move up, fair play to the guy. Yeah. This well, Clark in the Alpine is into the 130. So want to be a little bit quicker than that. In fact, he has to go quicker because currently 17th. With Mills, he yet to set up. So with 19. So we're going to lose two others other than Source and Immortal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who's on that? Oh. Top of the session, Unity, is a button on the 28.6, so a button looking good. Yeah, um, I'm sure you set the pace in the qualifying last week as well. I didn't, not in, wait, was he on pole last, I think he was. Yeah. Oh, I've got to, uh, I've got to put who was on pole last time. I'm pretty sure it was Button, because uh, then he uh, had yeah, a spin, double, I think. Double was on... Double was on pole in France. Double was the one we're oh, missing. Oh no, God, that's not, no. Jesus Christ! Was he gone off the same place as? Oh, jeez. That, that corner is a. Uh... a half. Jesus. Would you say he's safe on a 28A? I would. I would have. Uh, I feel like if you're in a a 29.2, anything but around that area, you need to go again, in my opinion. I think everyone in 20s mm. is perfectly safe. <sighs> What's Sorry, Mills, he went straight over the curb and turned one. I thought he was going to be spinning. Mills, he's uh, a pretty good hand around Japan, if I remember rightly. And uh, got a second and an eighth so far in his championship. Ever the consistent one. Yeah, he's, he's like Link, and he's not the look this season. I'm hoping that can change today. Hmm. The problem, with this, the problem is with the two Degners, the reason why it's catching um, people out, Unity, is it's changed so much from the last last year's game, especially the first part. Like, the first part you could take, like, not necessarily flat, but with some speed, but with this, with this, you feel like you need to brake a lot. A lot more tighter than usual. <laughs> like I said, I can't really comment, I'm not really touched Japan, but from the onboards, yes. I feel like pad players, Oh, airheads off. Oh, no. 
ahead of us, sorry, on the S's. Oh, we'll just talk about that. Three as well. are out. Mm -hmm. When Gunter retired in the pits, I had to check on the track as well. <laughs> Aye, Clint's been busy. Yeah, that, that should be through. Yes. A couple of hundreds off of his uh, new teammate, Ice Boy. So Ice Boy is uh, already. Uh... Yeah. Making some good impressions, Ice Boy is. Mm -hmm. Right, so who's in trouble? So effectively. So effect Oh Clark This is not what he needs. Hit the barrier quite heavily. I don't think he's got damage. How long's left? Two minutes twenty two. Yeah, it's only one lap. Looks like he's really struggling though. There's a lot of people that was really struggling with the Rio today. Right, it's got old Manzi who just needs to prove by a tenth, I think. Yeah, he's seven seconds down in sector two. I think he's going again. Oh, twenty-eight two for my boy. What a lap! Six tenths quicker than uh, everybody. Not six tenths, four tenths quicker than everybody else. That. The only thing I'd say with that is he's already. That's another fresh set, I think, Unity there. Um, and I don't think he necessarily had to do that. Because he was comfortable oh, in like 8th or something. Yeah, maybe the second set. Just add a chip. That's a weird one. I feel like he was safe anyway. Maybe he just wanted to mm. assert his dominance. Yes, so it's a bit more practice, a bit more confidence, and that would certainly Addis. do some. It's following old man's at the moment. What's uh, Clark getting up to? Clark's just starting the lap as well. He's the other one under pressure. So we will be losing one that hasn't <laughs> crashed. Don't say that. <laughs> so that's either Manzi, Pines, or Clark. You're running a bit wide on the spoon curve. Have you have you got it on the screen where he's uh, driving them with no helmet? Uh, I can't really, I can't see right now. I've just got his wheel. Now goes up to second. With another fresh set of sauce, but here comes old Manzi. Is it going to be enough? I don't know. Oh, just knocks Pines out. And Pines is invalidated, but he's just going to have enough time to go again. With seven seconds, he crosses the line. I think Clark's struggling, though. Unless this middle sector is any better. Ooh. Nah, he turns down. I think Clark's out. Yeah, unless he made a mistake. <laughs> unless he finds sector. a second here. Keep on it, but... Oh. Yeah, qualifying over, and Clark... Doesn't do enough, so it's all down to Pines and Old Manzi. Yeah, Pines is six tenths up in the first sector. Old Manzi needs to improve. Might put DPS into trouble if Old Manzi can find oh, a bit DPS, of time. Oh, what the... what? What's it, why is his AI done? Uh, That's a weird one. Are you seeing this? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. That what? Doesn't say he's retired though. That that is weird. Manzi's full temps up. I think DPS is in trouble. I think he might be squeezed out here. Manzi can beat it because he's full temps up. And no. Oh, Manzi lost time. Manzi lost time, so with Pines, who's four tenths up, he finishes the lap. Yes! Oh, Manzi. He does, knocks old Manzi out. Good effort for Manzi, but he's been just pipped by the new boy Pines, who gets in and DPS scrapes through. Oh, good chat when Source, second. Airhead, Immortal, Didn't see that one. Yeah, I think that's a similar to Ice Boys, another set of uh, tyres. 
Oh yeah. Wow. Uh, can you send an invite to Cornet Star, please? Ooh, yes. There you go, Cornet Star has been invited. Right, there we go, through to Q2 and the Daviton, Ice Boy Fox, topping the session by just under four tenths over Kajal. Button up there, Fistix, Desbro, Cornet, Tribal and P7 with Lincoln. Taino and Millsy, the top ten out. His source, crashed. Manzi, who uh, didn't find enough time. Airhead, who crashed. Uh, Clark, who seemed to be struggling with the car, and then Moto, who got commentated <laughs> cursed, cursed by me. <laughs> Bible's on 50 points, by the way. Still, still that's not bad. <laughs> mm. Again, I, again, I do find it weird knowing that he is moving to F three, and yet he's racing in here, and yeah, because because I will say this: now that you got to remove Tribal from the equation in the championship, oh yeah, who's Lincoln's going to our champion? Lincoln's our championship leader, a point ahead of Millsy, oh. and a point <laughs> ahead of LA sixteen Ham. Jesus, I mean, it's justified. You gotta say it's justified, ah, and if he's I have no asked idea. to move to F3. Oh, damn it. Uh, pause and unpause. Oh, there we go. Okay. I mean, it is justified. He's won two races out of two. Uh, I, I think he'll do perfectly fine in F3. Oh, he's going to my division, I just realised. <laughs> I wouldn't say he's been the quickest, I think he's been the most consistent. His race pace is definitely more than good enough. Yeah, I'm interested to see how he does an F3. Hey, he might even battle you, That's Brundle. Yeah, potentially. Very much potentially. Uh, it does mean, actually, because he commentated on F3 last night, means he cannot be a commentator for F3 now. It's the only thing. Oh well, here's what it is. Right, so, updated then, championship standings. Lincoln is leading on 23 points. Millsy and Ali 16 Ham on 22. Pierre's moved to 18 points. Immortal 17, Button on 16. Ted First on 10 points. Old Manzi on 9. Double on 6. Clark on 2. Everybody else has yet to score. Although I believe Cornet Star did score in Belgium, so I believe they'll be added. Yes. Um, construct. Constructors going into this race. Aston Martin lead the way, 66 points for them. Haas are next on 40. Williams are third on 39 with Mercedes on 23. Alpha Tauri on 17 points. Alpha May on 9. Red Bull on 6. Alpine on 2. McLaren on a point. And Ferrari yet to score. Uh, one thing I do want to say about Q2 is. Throughout the week, I've seen a lot of safety cars when the soft runners are about to pit. So, mm -hmm. I would assume a lot of people will go for the softs if they've been watching this week. Can you chuck an invite to TPS if you can just saw him lay, leave this then? Yes, I will. Thank you. Um, thing is, with my, with my qualifying it was wet, so we had free choice of tyres to start on and I decided just, just to be s simple. And starting the softs, I just wanted like the good extra grip. But I discovered very quickly the mediums are actually a better race tire than the softs. And that's just for me, but and the thing is, I think you said earlier before as well that uh, safety cars are a thing around here. That's something they're going to have to uh, take in mind when they do their strategy. Yeah. I remember rightly yesterday there was a safety car with like four laps to go and everyone pit for soft so it's going to be an interesting one really it going to be depends who, who's in front when the safety car comes out if we do get one mm -hmm. 
think like the fastest and most simplest, if you count safety cars in it, is medium to hards. I thought it would be soft to hards, surely. Because I'm pretty sure hards can do the whole way. Jeez, Lincoln. <laughs> Lincoln always says whenever he commentates in uh, Div 5, he always uh, hates it when drivers doesn't drivers don't hug the wall on the inside. Lincoln hugged the wall so much, he nearly hit the pit lane wall on the inside. <laughs> Oh, that's it. That's the one thing I do like about this track now. You remember on last year's oh, game, there was a the bump. ridiculous bump. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not there anymore. Yeah, I think it wasn't there last year, was it not? Or was it? I don't think it was. It was definitely there last year. Because I remember crashing there. <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Yeah, it was, it was right at the right at the right hand curb, just at the pit lane. Yeah, no traction on that bump was horrible. You know what the stupid thing is? It's never been there in real life. But it's been a... Ooh! Jeez, tribal. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, saw that. Well. <laughs> I think you've got to be aware about the S's, because they're so dangerous. Even if you're offline, someone else could... Uh... Old Pines is out! Where's that? Oh, same place. It's my, it's my corner. It's my corner. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> no. God, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is horrible. That was a, such a oh. slow mo crash that was. That wasn't even that quick. I think we're going to call that the Rubens corner from now on. It is. There's a car park growing there, isn't it? <laughs> That's like four cars to not have crashed there. You think Cornets was like. Notice Pines was in the middle of the road, try to avo sort of avoid it. Yeah, and put and yeah, and couldn't slow down. Yeah. Jeez. Called it, um, called it the Rubens wreck. No matter what, it's going to be a, called after you. There's a tire there. You don't, you don't there. need to worry. <laughs> there's a tire there as well. Right, Mr. Button, who was pretty quick in Q1, going on the medium tyres. I, presu I presume medium anyway, but we'll see what lap time it ends up being. Desborough kind of quick. It's, it's close at the top, you, you can see at the moment. Top four by a tenth and a bit. Oh, oh no! Oh, Desborough's out. Uh, Same corner. Oh, God, no! <laughs> what is going Jesus on with that corner? God. How do he was? I don't, he was. I don't get how people. He was quickest. Yeah, I just saw the fastest that just tumble down. I wonder what happened. Oh, that is a he what? Was... That's a weird one. Button goes to fifth and a twenty-nine-seven. I think he might need to improve on that, despite all the free DNFs at the same corner. I don't, I don't know how you crashed there. Uh, it, I'm, not, I'm not being hobbled or anything, but I, I do wonder. No. How how do you actually lose it there? Is it the curb? It's the curb on the outside of the first egg now. If you so if you ride on ride aboard a button now, let's, let's hope he doesn't crash there as well. Um, so you see you see on board a button now. So you see this it's that inside curb and then the outside curb that can then throw you off. Ah. Oh. I thought it was just people touching the grass on the outside. That too. I think it's again because in last year's game you can take that cor those two corners so much more quickly and the car will hold. But because of the build of these these cars or whatever, it's really throwing the people off, and that's why you see so many cars. Millsy, how's that kept valid? Never mind. <laughs> it's up to seventh anyway. Puts less pressure on those that are still remaining, though. Unity with the three out. Yeah, I, I do feel sorry for Desbo. I didn't feel, feel like he had to go again. He had the pace. I oh, is that music? Yes. That's the exit. Oh, he's spun in the exit turn one. Yes. He's had no front wing as well. Uh, I think there's damage. Oh, to it. deep behind. Oh no! <laughs> Almost joined well. the car park. <laughs> Oh, 
What does make me oh. think we're going to get a lot of... No, you, you... I could be wrong. Go ahead. But the race, the race, uh, the race might be interesting. We're seeing a lot of DNS in qualifying. Have yeah. we had five? No, six so far. Yeah, when when you crash in qualifying, when you go into the race, you just have that in the back of your mind, like, okay, slow and steady, let's not crash again. Fish sticks. Nice fish sticks, twenty eights. Fish sticks is looking pretty good. Yeah. Um. It's nice to see some new names up there. Uh, it just shows the competitive. Mm -hmm. competitive uh, I can't say that word. <laughs> you know, competitive. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Uh, yeah, it's just nice to see that of, of this tier. Like one week, you know, one could be miles heavy a week. They could be like slowish. Like that's what I love about this tier. Mhm. Mm so top eight all on mediums. We think they're on mediums. Places. Pretty close as well. It's free and a bit tense covering the top eight. And at a track like this, where you can make so many mistakes, that's impressive. Yeah, um, I saw Molly Biscuit put in the chat earlier. The track evolution. Ah, Millsy. What's happened? Validated turn one on his next final lap. Oh, did he go very wide? Yep. Yeah. So, with the amount of retirements now. We're only losing one. Like, if they, if everyone sets times and, and nobody else crashes, we're losing one more. <laughs> I think you should stop saying the word crashing. Mm. Right, so Tedis has left it a little bit later than everyone else. another one ice boys going again he probably, it doesn't yeah he's probably thinking of that early stage car maybe it's on the same set of mediums right yeah i believe you get, i believe you only get one so i i'm sure hmm. it's, it's unfortunate that we can't choose hard, hard tires anymore i, I miss going out and qualifying on them yeah see that's the complete opposite you see lincoln who is a tenth behind and a place behind has said, right, that will do. And he's back in, so... Hmm. I think Kachow is on mediums. I don't think that's a representative time on slots. Uh, could be. 29.2. Or he might have like done as a medium quick lap on slots to try and save the tires. Ice boy, oh my god. <laughs> Showing the pace again. Couple of tenths improvement on a second lap on the mediums. Didn't, I don't feel like you need to do that though. No. Bow says yes on the softs. Wait, is he? Okay. Oh. Ooh, apparently. He must have done a semi quick lap to try and save the tyres. What did we see in um, Q1? It was 20. mid 28s, wasn't it? Oh my god, my memory. I think so. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> oh, oh, chat, what was, oh, uh, chat, what was Q1? <laughs> oh, Tedis. Tedis had a big wobble in between the de two oh, deckness there. Good chance that it is mediums he's playing with us. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was going to say Kachal. I was like... Good question, Sivrin. Very good question. I, I I don't know, but points for Aston. Yeah, is the answer. Points for Aston. It's the only thing I can think. Plus, he's not missing out on racing Japan, I guess. Sh Shane's probably a bit upset about him moving up, with him being an Aston mm. Martin. But hey, oh, we move, we move and go forward. Um, quick thing. Ooh, ooh nice of that. We've just had a load of. Just had a load of retirements, by the way. They were all in the pits, weren't they? Yeah. Millsy, is Millsy retired at the pits? Yeah, uh, I went. I, I thought he didn't, and then I checked, and, and Ice Boy was the only house out. LA 16 Ham as well. That's just suddenly ended. It's just all caught me off guard. Um, 
One, two. Yeah, everyone's retired in pits. Wow. Oh. Only three terminal damages, and they were the three in the start of the session. So, really, tear this and just back off. <laughs> just save the tyres. Yeah, it runs through. Tribal is uh, gone top, by the way, 28 8. And it's nice to see everyone's on medium, so it's going to be a close race. Half a second. Covering top nine is not bad at all. Yeah, it's very, very quick. So we're going to have nine in Q3 as well. Oh, yeah, I just realised. Hmm. See, you see, that baffles me, Millsy. I thought you were quick at Japan as well. Or at least decent around Japan, and apparently he hates it. <laughs> I did well last season. I don't think anyone likes Japan. It's it's one of those, like, I feel like... a lot of drivers in real life say it's the driver's suck, isn't it? It's... Yeah, I feel like if the curves weren't as bad as they were in this game, a lot more people would enjoy the track. Mm. I feel like it's the curves that I've thrown everyone off this week. Okay. Alright, so tribal tops the set. Yeah, everyone mediums. Tribal tops the session. Just ahead of Ice Boy. Ice Boy is. Good on his debut, although he is uh, doing laps that I don't necessarily would say that he should do compared to say others that you know save your tires, etc. But it's looking quick, fish sticks looking good. I mean, fish, fish sticks needs points obviously because he's had two zero points in the first couple of races, so he needs to get on the board. Oh, well, it's gonna be GPS exciting. as well, pole position is gonna be exciting. Uh, evening to everyone in the chat. We have 26 viewers at the moment, which is a very solid amount. All right, Mr. What Rubens, I like. Who do you think is getting pulled? It's going to be a close one. It's a tough one. It's a very tough one. Um, who wants the pole as well? It's uh, it's interesting how of a. I don't la don't label Kachow as a debutant because we've we all know Kachow, don't we? So yes, technically he's new to this season in F4, but everybody else is a seasoned veteran, if you like. They've been been around the races, you know, quite a bit. Ice Boy is the only brand new, fresh debutant into the league. And he's mixing it up with the yeah. rest of them in this division. Um, it's, it's hard to put money on it. It could be any one of them. Remember, these all these were separated by half a second in Q2. So... Tribal nearly lost it at the same corner. <laughs> what is it with that corner? <laughs> There's magnets there now. Oh my god. Um, if I had to put a name on it, I'd say Lincoln. I was, I was thinking the exact same thing as well. I don't have a Williams here, so I can't really <laughs> vote for a Williams. Yeah, because you can't kick the commentary curse and models out, didn't you? Mm. Poor guy. <laughs> the good thing is, is that both Williams drivers have good race pace. They can't sort their qualifying out. Yeah, th they're, they're known for, some reason. for coming through the pack easily, but this is Japan we're talking about. Not the easiest mm. to overtake, as... What was round one, one again? France, wasn't it? France, yeah. yeah. And they were on the back row. Yeah, France so. and Belgium are quite easy to overtake compared to Japan. Alright, let's take on board with Tribal as he heads down into turn one. Got to start breaking at the first corner. Kind of a late apex, similar to China as well, but obviously nowhere near as long. Turn three, flip the car in. Car sometimes snap for four and then into turn five. Middle the S's. Avoid the curbs like the plague. Through turn six. Up through turn seven. Oh. Rise over the top of the hill. Avoid the car on the inside. Or brave container. Oh, brave, 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 brave. Into the Degners. 
Oh, he's invalidated as tribal. Oh, and no. nice voice just had a spin, tried to avoid Brave Container, who's still there. Yeah, Brave came back on the track, and you have to take a void in action. He's on the lap now. Fish sticks. Come on, fish sticks. Brave Container's still there. He's <laughs> got going again. Right, first egg nut. Carrying as much speed as you can, slow it down for the second underneath the bridge. Obviously unique to this track. The calendar, I think, is the only one that does have a bridge. Uh, Singapore... Oh, wait, no. Singapore doesn't have one. Bridge, but... Uh, a crossover is what I meant. Oh, crossover's okay. Right. Um, into Spoon. And yeah, it's all about these fast flowing corners, carrying the speed as best, best you can. Minding the curb on the outside, and now heading down to the infamous 130R, which these days is basically flat. If you have the setup and the confidence, which, yep, yeah, not a single lift at all. And then into the Casio Triangle Chicane, the famous spot where Prost and Senna had that collision in 89, I believe it is. Then round the last corner, open up the DRS. 28996 just behind Tedis to his take conversional pole. Let's see what else people can do because I think we can go quicker than that. Yeah, I'm on board. I'm on board with Button right now. It looks like a very tidy and neat lap from him so far. Yeah, it's been look looking good all qualifying. Good evening, Fatal Ant in the chat. Good evening to Camera. Good evening to everyone else. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Inside curve and button, and he's back in. Um, who is the next person? DPS. Yes. Oh, fastest sector two. A lot of short shifting going on. Any way to cope with it, and yes, oh, twenty-eight six. He counts. Now it's one tribal. That's... Close, just uh, Lincoln as invalidated. Chow, I believe, is the next one. Yes. Yep. And this is Chicane looking pretty good. Rebel 28.5 from Tribal he needs to be looking pretty good. 28.9. Just had a Tedist. Ted first. Not this to be again. Mm. I'm interested. Tribal DPS fish sticks. I'm interested to see what Ice Boy can do. What I've seen, it's always his second lap that comes out to be the quickest. Six temps down on the first sector, so oh. don't think it's going to be this one. Oh, fish sticks. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Kachow. No, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. You keep watching them going through there, don't you? Yes. Brave containers on an outlap at the moment, so... I think that is all the first one's done. Yeah, we've got uh, buttons back out on an outlap. Still got Lincoln to set a time. Right, see what Brave Container. What's Container done this season? Ah, he's another one that needs to get on the board. In terms of points, he's a fellow Alpine driver, so I'm hoping hoping some good things today, Braver. Right, Let's see how he takes this lap. Oh, he's already had a spin at the top of the hill, the S's, so we'll be hoping for a bit more of a controlled lap this time. Slight slide through turn one because he hit that curb on the inside. Ooh, oh, Jesus! <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oh no. 
It's, it's that. I know the feeling. It's that thing where you where you have like one slight spin, you lose some of your wing, and it just it haunts you for the rest of qualifying. Mhm. Mm I'm hoping Button doesn't follow suit. Yeah, that that turn three is particularly difficult because the car it's it's almost like a one line corner because if you touch the inside curb, you're spinning, you're off. Touch the outside curb, you're spinning, you're off. And even if you go f through the middle, the car s tends to snap on you, depending on whether you're accelerating or taking it in fifth or sixth. It's just such a weird... It reminds me of uh, Spain Turn 2, if you know that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bastards. Good lap. Or good sector, should I say. Yep, decent. I mean, at this at this point, considering where everyone else is going, it's uh, he's surviving at the moment. <laughs> That's going to be the key in the race: keep it off the curbs. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that an ice boy? Oh my god! No, you're going to get disqualified. Careful. Any damage? No, just had a spin. Seems to be the thing with ice boy, showing. Flashes a pace, but he's uh, making mistakes. 12 2 from button middle sector. He needs a lap on the board. Would it be an Aston Martin 1 2? 28 7 nearly. Nearly. A tenth oh, away from it. Oh, what a slide! And there goes his wing. Uh, oh, S's. that's bad. That's he won't That's be bad for Lincoln, yeah, he's not in Oh man. Oh no. This this race is I mean if qualifying is anything to go by. <laughs> Jeez. You'd think though in the race right. Be, because yeah. obviously in qualifying they're trying to go as fast as possible. You think in the race they might ease off a little bit. Oh Jesus Lincoln, where are you going? <laughs> Who's on the lap? So child is starting. Button is a tenth up. Might get an Aston Martin 1 Ooh, 2. Done again. That's interesting. This is unknown. Big Stix is on a lap and improving. Rivals is going for the S's. DPS is on an out lap with 1 minute 50 to go. Yeah, you should get around in time if you don't back off. Oh, Kachow. How is that valid? Oh, Tedis is off. That's him done. I'm quite sure. Yep. Yeah, yeah and that's nearly two tenths up. Uh, Button's on, actually on for a pole lap. If he can keep those two tenths, he'll be very close to tribal. Pretty good out the chicane. This might be good for pole. Oh, <laughs> oh by half a tenth. But where's everyone else? Fishstick. Oh, Fishstick is on a flyer. Two tenths up. It's going to be close, it is. It's looking good. 28. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 28, <laughs> 5 as well. But Tribal is 3 tenths up. Kachow is 5 tenths finding... up. Oh. So Kachow oh, oh, oh. takes pole. Is Tribal going to nick it back? Oh, no. Yes. Kachow, you By a couple of hundreds. There's still time, though. Ice boys two tenths down. Over. Fish. Oh, fine, it ain't over just yet. Ice boy. Yes, yeah, two tenths. Oh no, he's going again. The OS is at 100. Yeah, ice boy going again. But he's. Oh, never mind. Teddy's made it, by the way. Despite oh. the spin. My right, so DPS is done. Button is done. Um, Ice Boy's not using his EOS. Okay, never mind. Oh, he's had a spin. Yeah. Fish sticks going through spoon. Yeah, he's on um, ten thousand stops in sector one. Middle sector. Hemp. Oh. That's fine. A bit more. Purple middle sector though. Nice, nice. 
Is it going to snatch Paul away? Oh, double shot. No. Just for the race. Oh, has he made it? Because qualifying was over. We'll check if flag was waved, and it waved and he's just joined. Uh, I think if he loses into qualifying before we done, he will be in a race. Which would okay. fall good, good, I think. Yes. <sighs> I think that's so. Done. Tribal, tribal on his swan song, if you like, for F three takes pole by. Hold up. Only and just. this is two temps up. <laughs> Wait, what? Tedis is two. It's not over yet. Tedis is two temps up. I don't think. Find more to challenge the front row. Hold the phone, everybody. Oh, wait, what? Oh, he's in ballot. Oh no, it, it delayed on my screen. No mind. Demote DPS to six. Now it's finished. <laughs> okay, so now I can say tribal takes pole. With uh, Kachow in second, so Kachow, welcome back. Pops on the front row, two hundreds behind Tribal. Yeah, that was a, an exciting qualifying session. Ice Boy, Lincoln, I wouldn't expect, expect them to be down there, but they are. Mm. So let's see what they could do in the race. Fishsticks third, Button fourth, Tennis in fifth, DPS. Top six covered by just over four tenths, Ice Point seventh, Lincoln in eighth, and Brave Container ninth. And now we've got the race. <laughs> so, so how many retirements did we have in qualifying? Uh, we had three in Q1. Three, three in Q1. Three, in three Q2. Q2. Yeah, and two. Was it, was it two? I think it was two in Q3. Um. Braver lost it. Such a thing comes stats for F2. Had a link of Binnit. S's Cress. Binned it in the S's. Was luck. No, Lincoln didn't DNF. He arguably should have, because he had no front wing and etc. And like, had a big one. Uh, Brave Container, was he? Yeah, he was. So we've had seven. <laughs> seven <laughs> terminal damage retirements. And most of them came in, in the well, Rubens I... corner. Yeah, I feel like four or five came at that corner as well, yeah. Yes, double has lowered into the race, so we have a full good. Ooh. The cars are breakdancing on my screen. I've just got um, the marshals just <laughs> looking around aim aimlessly. Oh, the, the cars are bobbing around. Oh, oh, oh I'm about to go to the tour that got that. <laughs> And I can't even see who that is. I hope the host has took a screenshot. Yeah, I hope the lobby host has. That'll be a straight up penalty, whoever it is. No offence to F4, by the way, but I'm just going by qualifying. If we can have all 20 cars finishing, I'd be amazed. <laughs> Not trying to throw anything there, but right, full twenty car oh, grids. Oh, Take us for it, please, uh, <coughs> Mr. Uni. Yes, uh, we'll do. Um, starting in twentieth place is RSF on double. Join late qu for qual qualifying, but he's in for the race. Let's see how he can do. He's on the soft tyres. In nineteenth place, you got Immortal, who unfortunately had another Q1 exit. Let's hopefully he will get back up the grid. With his pace. In 18th, you got Clark, who also lost it in qualifying one. He's on the soft tyres. In 17th, you've got RSF on Airhead on the softs. He's in the Mercedes. Then you got Manzi in 16th on the hard tyres, looking to go long into the race without the safety car. In 15th, you've got RSF on Source on the medium tyres. Then 14th, you've got Cornet Star also on the mediums. Then 13th, you've got Pines, yes, that's how you say it. Pines on the mediums. Then Millsy, who also is on the meat. Everyone's on the mediums, actually. So yeah. Mm. In eleven, you got Tiff in the Williams, who has some good base pace, but the qualifying's been letting them down. So let's see how they do today. In tenth, you got Desbro, who unfortunately lost it in Q2 and couldn't take part in Q3. Let's see how he can do. Then you get into the top nine. You have Braver Container, who unfortunately lost it in Q3, un unable to set a lap time. 
you got RSF on Lincoln, who is showing some promising pace, but let's see how he can do in the race. He's in the Mercedes. You got the debut of Ice Boy, who is showing some good pace in the F4 division. Let's see how he can mix up with the others. In sixth, you got DPS Racing in the McLaren. Then your top five is Teddis in the Alpha Toy, Button in the Aston Martin, Fishsticks in the Ferrari. The return not return of RSF on Kachow, he's in the Red Bull and a familiar name at the front is, uh, is one tribal taking pole position yep and as a reminder that Mr Tribal no matter what happens in this race will be racing his last F4 division race he is moving to F3 at the end of this one who's going to replace him probably more than likely one of the Probably Pines, I'd imagine. Could be Pines or could be Kachal that goes into that seat. Going to be some we'll big shoes to do fill, that is. I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. Potential Constructors' Championship leaders by the end of this race if they have a solid result. 20 car grid for 27 laps of this Japanese Grand Prix. We're just waiting for the last car to slot into place. It will be ready for three, four, five red lights. And it's lights out and away they go. And Kachow will think it's got a better start than Tribal. He's going to take the lead into turn one. Tribal's not had a good start at all. He's going to keep on to second, but Kachow is into the lead. Tribal into second. Fish sticks holds third. Button and Tennis running side by side through turn one. Someone's going to sort out for turn two, and it's Button just ahead of Tennis. So the top six, more or less. Morris well, kept the same apart from the two leaders. Yeah, you got a uh, brave container's yeah. already had a spin through the S's. Oh. oh, and he's got no front wing either. That's going to be a long evening without any safety guards. Got two already pulling away as oh, Ice Boy or DPS is DPS is dropping a bit. If this midfield is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Source dive. There's the two by two around the hairpin by the looks of it. <laughs> yes. There's Bro, Airhead, Source, Manzi, Manzi. Oh, there's a car off. Where? Double. Double went off the corner that Chris did. Oh, in, um, my God. F5. Jesus Christ. Remember, double joined late. I think he's trying to. Uh... Oh, he wouldn't have a setup, would he? No. Actually, oh, he would if he had one saved. Oh, DPS, no. The exit at oh, right R. off at 130R. He just, I was like a virtual. He took too much speed and just slightly touched the pavement and just sent him into the wall. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing with 130, 130R, isn't it? It's, uh... Oh, DPS. I was about to say what a clean lap pond that was. <laughs> no retirement. I mean, it was clean. It was clean in terms of there's no argy bargies by the looks of it. Just a couple went off. EPS retiring and Brave Container with no front wing. Front wing. Well, as long as it's, as long as it's. Uh... Oh, come on, that start. It's going very slowly. Oh, and oh, Desbro, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Desbro and Cornet. The drive through so easy to do. Oh, there's a Red Bull off. Doubles off again. Ah. Oh. I think you're right. I think he's having um. He either has no setup or. Oh, Pines! Oh, Jesus Christ! Just Tokyo drifted in right on that corner. Oh, jeez. On the Kachow. He's waited. Where's Kachow dropped Wait, it? Wait, what? Oh no, the exit. Oh no, where's it? Oh, the lead. Oh, Cornet's, Cornet's start hit him. Oh no. It's all kicking off. Kachal was in the in the uh, top two. Oh no. Oh. So that means Fish Sticks in the Ferrari leads this race. Oh, I feel bad for Kachal. <laughs> My timing screen's all over the place, so I'm kind of a little bit lost. Right, there we go. How was that not a safety car? So, 
Oh, airhead. Oh, no. Not you. Oh, that's in the pits. Never mind. That's in the pits. Yeah, we got four retirements early on. Lap three only as Button and Tribal running side by side. In fact, but, um, Tribal's got Tribal's got front wing oh. damage. Uh, has he? Somewhere. Button's gone by. Ooh. There's a Williams off as well. Yo. As Lincoln. It's all kicking off. I don't know where to look. Ooh. Tribal most definitely has damage, yeah. Left left end. Oh play. yeah, yeah, he's going very wide. Oh Tiff must be fuming. Yeah, because Tribal's trying to hold some sort of position. Oh Braver's no, lost so it. Exit 130 or But we've had five five retirements already. <laughs> it's only that three. And doubles off again in a gravel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, no. you're right with Tiff. This is causing so much, so much time, and Tiff is like, oh, I've had enough, had enough of this. Give him a little cuff under the ear. Here comes Lincoln. Oh, Tribal's defending it. Oh yeah. He's defending very oh, hard. Could see, oh, <laughs> I can <laughs> wheels. It's like, get out the way. <laughs> that's cost. That's cost him two seconds. So Tiff has had a solid start, up six places. Immortals up nine. They're doing it again. <laughs> Why do they keep doing this? You keep it clean. You keep it consistent. Yeah. Source up seven as well. Oh man's done the hard ties with pin, that's not what he wanted. No. Right, let's go back to the tires. Oh Ice Boy's off. Oh, I think he's got damage. In the asses. Uh, no, I think he's got away with that. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Oh, there's a folly off. Yeah. Pines. Jeez. This is, this is going to be whoever le makes the least amount of mistakes when it looks at this. <laughs> Sect 1 is causing all sorts of problems. Right, that's sort of... Try to regroup a little bit. So Fishstick's leading. So over a second over Button. Teddy's has moved his way up into third. Tiff is in fourth. Again, started. Where did he start? 11th. He's up into fourth already. Lincoln, Millsy just ahead of Source. Ice Boy in eighth. Mortal up to ninth on the back of the grid. C. Swell Clark, who. Was also out in Q Q1 is up to 10th. Got 15 still remaining when we've only just started lap 5. <laughs> Considering Fishsticks hasn't scored any points, he's doing a good job. Oh, Say not, Source on Millsy. Source is going past Millsy. Source has just flown by Millsy as if it's nothing. Got damage. You don't lose that much. No, he hasn't. He must have not had his. Uh, set up, I guess. Could be as well. And um, three seconds. I don't know how hard it is to get three seconds around this truck. Um, it's not not terrible in trap limits, but it's doable. Doubles out down to fourteen. Crap five, Jesus. Hmm. Uh, a couple of them are. Aren't terminal oh, ones, Jesus. but they kind of make sense. Lincoln was pushing the double. Tiff through the hairpin. Oh, Tiff's on the grass. What? Need a good exit here, Lincoln. You like your ass? No. No, he's waiting for the straight. I would have thought. Wow, slivering, that's a bit harsh. Living saying he thinks four people will finish. <laughs> Not Monaco. Oh, Tiff defending on the has made you all slow. He's done a Fissy Keller. So what Fissy Keller did in 2005 yeah. on a Kimmy. Tiff is under fuel as well. All slow. Lincoln's having none of it, although Tiff's Ooh, moving it's be close. a little bit. No. Moved a little bit. It's not Nothing weaving, malicious. I guess. Oh my no. god, button almost spun. Jeez. That had a spinner, Source, on turn one. Sect one is causing loads of problems.
So, drops to ninth, but still in the race though. That's the most important thing, I think. I think if you have a spin, as long as you keep going. Oh, Ted is all over button now. Yeah, Fishtix is not dropping these guys. He's got a oh, just over a oh. second. Oh, Tiff, how's he dropping there? That is a weird. Yeah, it's safe talk. Car. The only thing I can think That's... of is, you ha is if they have a wheel and the force feedback's not worked. Um, I was thinking as well. Um, you can sort of hit that curb and it just flies you into the wall. You get no control. Is that? I've never seen someone with a tire there before. Now, I would expect everyone to pit for hards. We're down to 13, by the way. Oh. Jeez. Oh, what? No. Oh, yeah, I go Tedis. Oh, so Tedis pits, but the other Thinking. two don't. Yeah. I expect Mildred to follow suit. Yeah. Just put hards to the end, you reckon? Yeah, as long as they're not on a safety car, they should easily. Oh no. Speed in the pit lane. That might cost him. Probably will. wonder who else is going to know. Mortal takes trap position and moves into fourth. Third, sorry. From 19th. <laughs> so he did this in. Yeah. Mortal did this in France. He started, I think it was 18th, <laughs> ended up third. I, I just wonder what he can do in the race if you don't commentate curse him. <laughs> Softs for Millsy. Really? Interest aggressive, interesting. Hey, well, he started on mediums, didn't he? Uh, yeah. Also, two stopping. Da David face says rain in 10 minutes. <laughs> what? David face I think, is one of the drivers in the lobby. Uh... David, there's David Lowell, Lowell face, sorry. David Lowell face, uh, game, what game attack are you? Just to, just to check. Right, Rubens, why wouldn't the Kong? I'll quickly go to if that's okay. There you go, go, right. go ahead. Probably go lap for a bit. Yeah, David, can I get your game attack? I believe you, but just obviously double checking. Rain in 10 minutes, that would make sense if uh, Mills he went to softs, if he got that call. It was not in the lobby, so who told you? Someone must have told you. So who stopped? So Tedis, Tedis stopped, Lincoln stopped, both for hards. Obviously if it stays dry that makes sense. Millsy pitted for... Little bird. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also st I'm <laughs> starting to think. Yeah, starting to think I'm not going to believe you actually, especially with the. Uh, well, there are clouds, but. Yeah, I agree with Chris, because everyone would have got that call. They'd be checking as well. Would they check? So fish sticks button and immortal on seven lap mediums. Tetris on fresh hards. Source on mediums. Be interested in what the two Alpha Tauris do. The source will be on a different strategy, but Ted's, Tedis has trap position. Lincoln on the hards as well. Desbro mediums. Um, I don't think that rain call was true. Was it not? Unity. Well, if you think about it, most of these would be checking the weather report, just in case. And Tedis and Lincoln have gone on to hards. If it was raining, they wouldn't do that. Playing tricks with, tricks with those, God damn it! <laughs> I was getting excited. I don't know. I mean, the other thing is, well, there's not a lot of clouds. If it was raining in 10 minutes, it'd be... overcast? Yeah. Because no, it is quite good on this game, although... Uh, just... <sighs> yeah, now, he's, now he's put the thought in my head, I'm thinking... Jane said it is going to rain. Why Ted and Lucas went on to softs. 
But Shane doesn't really lie, so it must be rain. The rain must be coming then. Ted and Lucas. Who's Luke? Wait, so if the rain's coming in 10 minutes, oh, surely you go on... Millsy and Clark. Millsy and Clark. Yeah, I was going to say, if it's going to rain, surely you're going to like, stop the compound to get the most out of the tyres. Mm -hmm. But then again, Safety. it depends how long these softs go not. for. The so one thing is with this game, when it's about to rain, you can always tell by the clouds. And... There are a bit gathering round turn one area, so yes, I'm a weather reporter. <laughs> Meanwhile, fish sticks on this safety car restart. I think he's going to catch out Button. Yeah, yeah. Button had a horrible exit on the chicane, so fish sticks more than comfortable. As we start lap nine with the threat of rain Ooh. in the in the air, Tribal, Tribal makes yeah. his way past Millsy. Yeah, Ted is, is on hard. So uh, hippo, so, so again, it's interesting. We're back underway, 13 still remain. Out of the 20, has sort of had a massive snap through the S's. I was saying while you're gone, Unity, you've got the two Alpha Tauris there. Obviously, Tennis has trapped position, but yeah. um, sources on the better tyres, technically. I don't know what they would do. <laughs> if that was anybody else, I think Source would have gone for the lunge there. <laughs> also, Ice Boy's made his way past Millsy. I think M Millsy must have made a mistake because he's on fresh sauce and Ice Boy and Hards, and Ice Boy's made his way through. Yeah, they need to make their moves now on the soft tyres. Oh, Source. Oh, Dennis has slowed down for Source. But he's going to put himself under massive pressure from Lincoln. Might be able to just hold him off, but it's put him under huge pressure. Now, yeah, now Ted is really heavily defending. And, like early, Son of Fissy Keller has made himself all slow on the exit. Lincoln's going to have a run on him. Oh, edging closer. Oh, <laughs> Lincoln gives him a nudge. Fortunately, no damage. He's finding his way. He's pushing. He's pushing. Oh, and he's off. Tennis is off. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, and Ice, Ice Boys hit um, Millsy. I didn't see oh, that. Oh, and five second Blair. Safety car. No front wheel for Ice Boy, which is fortunate that safety car's come out because he can recover. But I was so focused on <laughs> what happened with... Teddis and Lincoln that the two house horses. Yeah, there's nothing. Two house drivers. There was nothing connected. malicious in there. It was just Lincoln that like had more grip and pace. And oh, both both house drivers got no front wings. Wait, really? Yeah, the wingless. They must have hit each other. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> oh, they have. Uh... Oh my god. I know. I don't think there was anything malicious there from Lincoln. It's just got caught out by Ted's breaking there. Or that could have been or it could have been lag. Yeah, peer to peer connection. Could have very easily. Very easily been lag. Anyway, safety car again. All the leaders pit. So what are these? I I think they should stay out. They pit now, they're going to the back of the field. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, trap position. Especially with the veins, it can be harder to rotate. Well, thing is, thing is, if you get a rain call from Jeff or you check it, and it's coming in like 10 minutes, you'd rather have trap position, wouldn't you? It's Ted DNFs. Wait, what? Under, oh, in the pit. Under safety car, Ted. Yeah, I. Mm. I don't get why people do that unless they look like an emergency or something. Baffling. Very baffling. He's he's obviously not very happy, yeah, I don't think. That's another thing, he might not be the best of moods right now. No. What a shame for Ted. It's two races without oh, points. Oh no. Oh no mind. <laughs> well uh, Ted is double second for the house drivers. Sat in the pits, not moving. Oh. And disappeared. 
Oh my. You've lost it down to 12. He drivers in under half the race. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, multiple and source. All multiple. you've got to do is leave the space. Yeah, what I do in the yeah, safety a... car, I, I keep that a car, two car lengths and go to the opposite side Ooh. of where the other driver is so I don't get in contact with them. So I keep looking at the clouds. <laughs> they are... They, they, they are gathering, to be fair. And if this, obviously this safety car is just only going to mean that the rain's going to come come quicker. It's also going to help the ones at the front make their tyres go longer. Oh, very true. Um, Sort has no helmet for me. Yeah, it's quite a few. Visual little thing here. So we're going to get another lap on the safety car. Oh, I don't. I don't mind the. Yeah, I don't mind the debate going on in the chat between um, the incident of Lincoln and Ted. Obviously, that will be sorted out by the stewards. But don't mind the debate. Just don't let it get too heated. It's not necessary. Enjoy the race, people. Twenty-eight viewers. Thank you very much for watching this race. We're not even halfway. <laughs> and the best bit yet. We've got another one. We've got. A, it's, it's similar to Belgium, isn't it? Yeah. Like we don't know. At this point, you can't say who's going to win. We're on different. Oh, Manzi and Pines. All the time. They both have, have to one. leave the space. Mm -hmm. Ag again, again, that Ted and Lincoln could easily be in lag. Could very easily. Yeah, and then yeah. No nothing anyone could could do with that. So it might not be major lag; like, it might just be peer to peer connection lag, like, and they can't really mm. resolve that in any way. Right, and just and just Ted Ted just breaks uh, or it appears on Lincoln's screen that Ted breaks earlier than anybody did. Yeah, so we can't really make any assumptions until the stewards analyze it. I'm sure it was nothing malicious. Yeah. Right, so let's see who's in a good... So the thing is, if it stays dry, Lincoln's in the money. Because all up hards, he's easily going to the end. Every, In fact, everyone apart from Pines and the two house drivers have to pit again. Right? Well, well on, on um, in F1, someone took media in about 22 laps. I don't know who it was, but mediums can go that long. So, uh, so I'm we're talking 26. So I'm looking at old Manzi. Um, yeah, so that would be 50. So that'd be 23. And so there's no safe car. That would help them. It would. It would. Right. Safety car restart. Fish Chicks has got to do this again. Button was caught out last time. He's making sure to stay right to the gearbox, yeah. and yeah, he's. Mission's oh. had a good, uh, good traction though. Link. Mortal and Source again. Lincoln's on Source. Yeah, he's backing off. Oh, Tribal. Tribal making moves on Desbo. Gets it. Oh my god, Link. Source going very wide. And Lincoln gets past. Oh, Tribal does stick your oh, in. Tribal, Tribal, don't. <laughs> oh, not on the curve. Oh my god, what a move! Lovely move from Tribal. So it's got a little bit shuffled under the restart. Lincoln and Tribal through it. Now, uh, now Desbro and Source. Oh, what's going on with Source? Oh, what's happened? Big wobble when Manzi hit the back ooh, of him. Ooh, Manzi's got flat oh, wing no, damage. Milzy. Oh, and Millsy's out. Oh, no. What is going on? Yeah, it wasn't Millsy's fault. He d oh. Is there a big lag going on from Source? Because that was weird. Mildy just arrived at the scene and just didn't know what to do, I think. It might have been a lag, I'm not sure. Mildy can't get the look. No. <laughs> this car was... My only guess is there was something wrong. Because I don't think Source is like that. 
I don't think he was either in control, there was either something wrong or... Or anything as button is having oh, a big look as oh, the Mortal runs deep. And this is just came like yeah, Lincoln to the run. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, here comes Tribal capitalizing. Oh. Or place Tribal. Yeah, move done. Yeah, I think uh, Lincoln tapped the. Uh, tapped the back of uh, Immortal, cost him all his momentum. Remember, Tribal is on worn sauce, but he's on sauce compared to Hards here. Lincoln really just needs to keep pace, doesn't he? Because yeah, it could be that a scenario where dry tires on a wet track and he doesn't transition. All ice boy ran the outside from up into Degna one. What a move! This surely ain't gonna. Oh, Desberg, very nice driver from Desberg. Yeah. Gave him all the room to try and make that move. Ice boy, making moves now. Looking at Lincoln. Oh, Travel's got the run. Oh, backs off. Nice a spoon. I tell you what, if this this if it if it does rain in like five minutes, which again I keep looking at the clouds, but look at the clouds now, Unity, they're all over the place. I think it might be. Yeah, they were it was very clear like five minutes ago compared to now, so rain I wouldn't say it's imminent, but I'll be in like oh. like twenty. Oh my god. Button's got a huge run on fish sticks. Front four, very close. Yeah. I don't know if it stays right. So, for Lincoln, actually, he needs this rain to hold off. Yes. The longer it holds off, the longer he's going to be in the money, because these tyres are always oh, going to drop as source is off. Although, back at split. Look how split the the grid is, or those, that's, those that are still surviving. You've got the top seven, space to Clark, big gap back to Manzi, Pines and Source, all battling for 9th, 10th and 11th. Ooh, is that Clark? Yep, Clark's off. Yeah, Clark's off. I'm interested to see what's going to happen here if Charlie gets past. Will there be team orders? I don't think there will, considering the age of his tyres. Tribal needs it to rain as soon as possible because he's on 10 laps off. So they can't last much longer. Yeah. I think another 4 laps maximum for Tribal. But it is getting dark. It is getting very, very dark. And the Mortal has 10 seconds. That's going to cost him a lot of stops. Oh, old man, he's lost it. Yeah. Safety car. That's going up there. Again? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> is that the third one? Why? <laughs> yeah, Manzi just clipped the curb and his wheel went up, going up the hill. We have ten remaining. <laughs> oh, the Everyone's going to score points. It's raining. <laughs> you see the flash? Oh, mortal, don't say. Oh no, Ooh. mortal, not not intermediates, please. Don't say you're paying for intermediates. No, it's too early. It's far too early. I know it's raining now. Mortal, please. Surely you're not going to pit now for new tyres. He is. Hey, what do you guys do? Softs. Why didn't, why didn't you stay out? He does get rid of one of his penalties, there is that. I would have stayed out when the veins came. But what do you do now? This is very, do you this... gamble? <laughs> it... The rain does come quickly on this game. Well, if do, you gam do you gamble inters? If you look where Source is, it's going to be at least two laps under the safety car. So if it gets in, oh, hmm. safe penalty, if it intensifies, then I think we'll see a lot of people in. Especially Tribal. If I'm going to make a gamble, it's going to be Tribal. But this is ruined Lincoln's race. I've just gone by halfway. <laughs> Half the grid. Half the grid is gone. Jeez. We've had a lot of DNS this week in Japan. Hmm. I'm just thinking this rain's going to make it even worse. It's going to be slippy and the curbs will be even more slippy. It depends if they have a wet set up on, which I don't think they won't. No, not for a few spots of rain towards the end of the race. I wouldn't have thought so. 
I won't expect anyone to pit now. The rain's not that hard. No. But the thing is, the Aston Martins are so close together, if they have to suddenly pit, one, one child was going to get screwed. Again, no. This rain on this game it makes a wet track very quick. So I wouldn't... I wouldn't blame anyone if they tried it. They've got another lap to decide. You either pit now or stay out. I mean, if you're like someone like Pines and Mortals, who's at the back of the grid, why not? Just... Yeah, I was going to say, if anyone could take a gamble, it's going to be tribal. If you're still at the I mean, back, he's on 11 laps off, I would so... go for intermediates, try man, come back in, because you've got nothing to lose. Yeah, Inters. Yeah, there Inters you go. Of tribal. He's going to feed that. Despro... He's going to feed that information to his teammate now. Well, wow. effectively, Tribal has nothing to lose. That is true. Hmm. You need to get ahead of Source. And, yeah. Despro pits for Inters as well. That's, that's, if that's this works. On board tribal. Uh, yeah. If this works, they're in a massive, massive. Um, this is like uh, Germany. 2019, if you remember that race in real life. Yes, I do. Where, yes. um, who was it in a racing point? I can't remember who it was. Stroll, was it? Uh, it was it Stroll? Perez, it was yeah, because no, because Perez had already crashed. Oh, I thought you were going about like when crash. it was chucking it down. <laughs> like, like, oh, you're going about when you made that Stroll strategy call. Yeah, because he was oh, at yeah, the, yeah. right at the back of the grid, nothing to lose. He put on intermediates, and all of a sudden, it was the quickest tire, and he leapt up from like back of the grid to a podium. I mean, I'm buying him on board with Tribal and I don't see no water whatsoever. It looks dry. It's a hero or zero move. If it works, these two are going to lead. If it doesn't work, they need to it, need it to hammer it down. Mm. Yeah, if it works, them two are in the lead with a huge gap because everyone will pit, they have a like minimum 15 second gap it doesn't they're at the back and they're going to lose so much more time it's going to be an interesting restart in this lap ah yes, yes I assume it would be yes that's a late call yes it is bit of a late one ah, that's, that's, I'm going to go on board one try bully right, so this is going to be interesting yeah, you keep an eye on Tribal, I'll keep an eye on the leaders as Fistix does a third safety guard restart and Button, what a horrible traction! Just bogged down completely and Lincoln is edging alongside, is he going to take second? Yes he is! Button just... I don't know whether the car just almost kicked into anti-stall. Yeah, Tribal's so losing Lincoln into time. second. There's just no grip, they're not working. Yeah, they, don't, they don't look too bad, but it's just not getting... Oh, yeah, the grip ain't there. Yeah, he's losing... He's just got to hold it. He's losing five attempts he's a corner. All Pines inside of the board, all. Oh, they had both had a good run Ooh. on the Alpine. Look at this. Oh, who's that? Oh, oh no. is he on the flag? Oh, spinning. Oh, no, Pine, right back across. <laughs> Who hit him? Oh, I think he just spun by himself. Oh no, oh Mortal does, oh yeah, Mortal no wing. Uh, and Mortal had nowhere to go. Oh, after Martin's were in it's the money. Again. Um, I think Tribal's tyres are working. It might, it, he's losing time, but he's not losing horrendous time. It's coming down a bit heavier now. Hmm. He must have just been sector one then. Oh, I, I, if you think about it, it's only going to steadily get worse, isn't it? So say that he just lost a se uh, second in one corner. Oh, but I feel bad for you. Oh, it's all good enough for the leaders. Ice boys off oh. into the uh, game. Fishsticks is in. Nah. Lincoln takes the lead. Fishsticks, what's he going to go on? This is going to be interesting. Inters has to be. So 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 would. Inters. Yeah, okay, Inters has to be. I think this is going to take dry until the end.
Yeah, these inters aren't, they're still not working. Char was losing hand over first. Do you open it to leader? It's, it's weird, isn't it? I think it's like right on a crossover. As a ice boy, that's going to be a brave move on the inside of the first egg. <laughs> Lincoln gives him the room. What pounds? Ice boy got? takes the lead. Three seconds on mediums. He needs to pull that gap. Saying that, Clark's on eleven lap old sauce behind. <laughs> he is losing time to the leader. Pines, this is a weird one. Oh my one. god! The speed Pines is carrying. Oh, who's off? That's a mortal. Uh, Clark is on 11 lap soft, so they'd be struggling right now. I reckon he'll be the next to pit if anyone does. This rain ain't getting heavy. It's staying pretty much the same. I think oh, Lincoln, Lincoln win. had a. Oh, oh that's, that's, say that. that's a cut. Oh my god, has he got damage? I think he's struggling with something. What? Oh, he must have a strategy call. Yeah. Hey, what? Oh, no. DRS Inters? enabled? Yeah, because it was safety call, what wasn't it? Two laps. Yeah, so it's not... According to the the game, it's not... Um, That's it's not interesting. Inters, yeah. That means Lincoln must have got the strategy call from Jeff. Hmm. <laughs> it's, this is just turned around now into travel with hands. I'm saying That's this, it, Pines is extending the gap. Yeah. I'm A saying. second in two corners, Jesus Christ. Buttons off in the chicane, he's really struggling with this. I think Pines good to the end on the softs. Mortal's got no, no front wing at the back. This is... What's the gap? It doesn't make any sense. What's the gap when you've got a pit stop behind you? I don't know what it is. I think it's like 22 seconds. I mean... Heinz is making a gap. Saying that, but the, the you, track is looking a bit more track, damp. Though. The track is look, look, yeah. that's one. Mm. It's a strange one. What does Pines do? He might as well stay out. Yeah, he does. He might as well. As long as he's maintaining a gap, or even extending it. Yeah, just pull a second in, in the chicane. They need this to hammer it down if they want to win. Oh, jeez, the yeah, ice so boy. In the... Got no grip. The Immortal's got to yeet out the way for uh, Pines here because he's a lap down now. Or oh, about to be put a lap down. <laughs> Nearly a miscommunication there, but again, he's still pulling away. I'm surprised because the try looks so damp. I would have thought it been Inters. Mm. Yeah, Muddy's saying he needs to get 20 seconds if he does pit. But he's also got that 3 second penalty, so if he does pit and then all. <laughs> Oh, uh, Mortal's round. I thought, that, oh. I thought that was Pines for a second. Yeah. The gap's up to 17 seconds. Pines is a reserve, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Wow. Reserving for Rogue. What a step in that will be. <laughs> Reserving for Rogue at a team that has yet to score points <laughs> going into this race. He's still maintaining it. He's not extending the gap as greatly as he did before, but you actually know he's got to 18 seconds. Now he pits. Wait, really? Hmm. I would have stayed I out. I reckon he could have taken that longer. I would have stayed out. He's not going to come out and see leave. what happens. Oh. Oh, sources. <coughs> oh, no, Pete. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. This might happen. Dear, oh, oh, dear. No. Pines. Oh, my God. It's going to be close. 
Rose Pines, is he going to take the retain the lead? Oh, as we get a fourth safety car. No, second place. And Tribal just takes the lead. Well, this is going to help it now be in more intermediate conditions. Down to nine winners. Jesus. I did say at the start of the race, if qualified is anything to go by. I didn't want to sound too harsh, but maybe it was justified. It's really been tricky tonight. This stage car is going to stay out for the three laps, I think. Immortal is almost like a lap behind. Right, so those that have penalties, Pines, Ice Boy, Lincoln, all have three second penalties. Could Tribal make three out of three race wins? That'll be interesting. Who has a fast flat? Um. He does. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. We might be a while under the safety car because the yeah. was a lap down. Wait, so that's lucky for a model because he was a lap down, but because Pines pitted, he's now unlapped himself. Oh yeah, that is a good point. Hmm. Is the safety car going to be generous with him though, because he's so far back? I know the safety car sometimes like, is, oh, you're so far back, we don't care. At the end of lap 25, I think it's going to go in, no matter what. Mm. I think he's got until that lap to catch up, which should be more than enough time. As long as no spins are or anything happens. Yeah, Hippo said earlier that there was going to be seven finishes. He's not far off, actually. <laughs> oh my god. So, potential situations here. So... Obviously, you've got Tribal currently leading. Obviously, on his swan song for F F4, he's moving to F3. We know this already. So Lincoln would extend the gap at the top. Mm, yes, he would. Yes. If he stays where he is. Um. In fact, yeah, he would be the new championship leader, and like the nearest to him will be Button. Because. Desbro's yet to score, Pines is a reserve, Ice Boy is a reserve, Clark is yet... No, Clark has got two points, Fistix is yet to score. Um, the only other that's kind of close to him is Immortal. Because, yeah, Immortal's the other one. Immortal on button he needs to beat to extend the lead. All the others are of no threat at the moment. What I will say to the Division 3, watch out for Tribal. Mm. Very solid race pace. It'll be something if he wins next Wednesday. <laughs> Go to USA next on the calendar, which is interesting. I always thought this, because it was completely random, obviously, the calendar for this season. Yet Japan and USA are next to each other anyway. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to USA, I can't lie. <laughs> the corner cutting around there is a pain. Mm. Good race to watch though. I've not really watched many USA races, so I can't really comment. I always look at uh, USA similar to Bahrain. Bahrain is always a good, good race to watch or commentate on. In USA, you think you've got that long run up to turn one uphill and then the S's as well which is the S's are similar to Suzuka to here but far less dangerous I think it's far less far less curbs uh yes I'm personally looking forward to Singapore which is as after USA because I feel like we've got some good tracks no. after that no, no. Singapore Spain I think it is you got Abu, D Abu Dhabi after oh. USA so after Abu Dhabi then there we go Mm-hmm. 
I've always thought about this. You now they got so you got the S's of Japan and the S's of USA. Um, both are sort of difficult for two different reasons. Japan because you don't touch the curbs because we've seen already before this this week and this race you touch the curbs, you're more, more than likely off into the wall, high speed and could be out of the race. USA because of the track limits. It's a lot more sort of faster, more change of the direction. I, I yeah, I feel like we're gonna have the same race next week, if not I don't want to say less finishes because I feel like Japan's worse. Yeah, I don't I don't think uh unless it rains. Or unless someone gets disqualified. Yeah. Here's an interesting, interesting fact. Have you seen the F1 Twitter page, the Formula One? Mm -hmm. They spell spell out Portugal in the thread they made. Okay. So that might be coming soon. I yeah, I have seen the rumor. Apparently, it's early next week. That would make sense. Yeah, that would make sense with the podium pass. And I've noticed with the if you go onto the F1 calendar on the homepage. Uh, which, which I very rarely use. If you go back to where Portugal would would have been in real life, I guess uh, early in the year, obviously, there's a picture on the track thing where there's a picture of the track, and it's not a real life picture; it's a digitally made one. I don't know that. Hmm. Whereas the other two, Emil and Saudi Arabia, they just have the flags. So I think we're just going to get Portimao and that's it. Oh, there we go. Anyway. Oh, Jesus Christ. Safety car. <laughs> safety car restart. Lap 25. Tribal pulls away and has a very decent restart. We're now all on intermediate tyres. And let's see if we can get any more action and drama as Lincoln looks in the back of Ice Boy, who's on the back of Desbro in the battle for the podium. Those that have penalties have three seconds, so... So that would mean Desbro, the Tribal Clark. Desbro Clark podium if this all stays as it is, but I don't think it will. <laughs> we'll safely through the S's first time round, no? How many warnings is Tribal off? Let me just check. Oh yeah, that's it, that's it, Unity. Um, oh my God. Real life, Monza this weekend. Sprint quality and all that stuff. Same, same as we had in Silverstone. I, I won't lie, I didn't really enjoy the sprint race in Britain. Hopefully they'll change my mind this week. Well, Hippo's just pulled out the thing. Sprint quality in Monza. Temple of that speed. run down to turn one. If it's Hamilton and Verstappen on the front row, that's going to get very icy. Meanwhile, Tribal has got a decent gap over Pines. There's Bro holding on to Ice Boy, who looks like the more racy. I like if Ice Boy can find a way by Old Manzi here. It'll be very difficult though. No, no more DRS. Lincoln though, also looking good. These two are fighting for position with Pines because they both got penalties the same. Clark, though, has dropped back, so... Yeah, I just noticed that. Yeah, Clark might be in trouble to get on, get onto the podium if he can't keep the pace up here. Like the top five pulling away a little bit. Actually, no, he's trying to hold off um, Fish Sticks and Button, who also could nab onto the podium if they're quick enough. Oh no, Hines. That's cost him. Mines is going to drop now. Six seconds, so that may put Clark on the podium anyway. Oh, ice boy. <laughs> Clark is actually being climbed all over the bath by fish sticks and button. He's really struggling, I don't know why. Doesn't like Inters, maybe it's a oh fully, God, you know. Speed. Jesus Christ. He does not have. Any proper dry setup. He doesn't have the speed down the straight. Oh yeah, it's gone very wide. 
Ice Boy, maximum attack here, as through, not through 130 on the intermediates, no. No, 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 no. he's going, f he's thinking about it. Outside of the chicane, Desbro. Oh, Lincoln's defends. there. Lincoln's, Lincoln's trying to put a, trying to think where he's going to put his car as we move on to the last lap. What? <laughs> DRS in it. What? <laughs> okay. I don't know. It went mad. There is no DRS though. Button's got by fish sticks. This is full position as well, so Button moves. That's interesting. Fish it was attacking clock, and now he's lost the position. Well, this battle here for third. Too, Jesus Christ. I think they're too far back. They need a Desbo to battle, Ice Boy. Oh my god. No. Oh. No. Desbro wants this podium. He wants this. And he'll have it as long as. I think he's got to be wary about it. He can afford. I think he can afford to allow these two to go through. And a push this button. Buttons, no, that's going to cost him. Penalty for button. As Lincoln. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Was there contact? No, I think he just lost, lost it on traction. Oh, Lincoln. That is going to be... Oh no. Now now, camera, there's none of that, please. Anyway, Mr. One Try will... Last lap of the race. And Tribal... Ooh. He's heading up to F3. <laughs> Ice but he's heading up to F3. No. Three in style as Ice Boy has gone for the move oh, on Desbro. No. Couldn't make it down. Oh, there was contact. Desbro's round. Ice Boy connects into Desbro. That's going to cost Desbro the podium on the last corner of the race. Oh, oh and he's. Who did he hit? Hit Immortal. Clark's on the podium. Ice Boy to fourth. 7,000 for Head of Fish Sticks. Pine's actually got a podium in the end. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That helped Clark at the podium. Help Pines maintain second as well. What I saw from that, I think Ice Boy just completely went off track and had nowhere to go. Oh, it seemed like he went off, went off track, came back onto it, and just tapped into uh, Desbro, and Desbro's round. What? Chaotic ending. It's F4. Welcome to F4. <laughs> Jesus. So, Tribal takes the victory. His swan song in F4 ends with a third victory in a row. He will move up to F3. Uh, yep. It'll be sad to see him, but in some ways you could you could see the reasoning. Um, Pretty sure he will do very well in F3. Pines on his debut as a reserve moves into second. Clark from 18th on the grid gets a podium. Ice Boy in fourth, just head of fish sticks. Button in sixth. Immortal seventh. Lincoln eighth. Desbro did pick up ninth in his first points and source. DNF to look at all the list Jesus. of DNFs. <laughs> like an open lobby. I don't, I don't have time to go through the whole list. Well, so there's a few things there. So, Ferrari are now on the score sheet. Thanks to Pines and Fish Sticks, to be fair, as well. Um, we just waiting yeah. on a... Pines. I don't know whether Pines would know. Yeah. I'll send him one to see whether he joins.
Right, put this on here. I don't think we're going to get him. So, we got Clark and Tribal, so which one do you want? Uh, I'll, I'll take Tribal and Tweet. Okay. Alright, Mr. Cicero Clark, welcome to the podium, your first podium of the season. You're, you had a bit of a troubled start to, to the season, and a bit of a troubled start to your qualifying as well, because you unfortunately crashed out in Q1. Um, but you kept your head together in the race, in a very chaotic one. And the reward is from 18th to 3rd on the step of the rostrum. So you must be very, very happy with that. But take us through what seemed to be a chaotic race from our end. Well, um, I've done I've done about 50 minutes of practice and my qualifying probably showed that. Um, then I literally said in the party to Camo, uh, I'm going to big up Camo and Shane and they just deserve it um, just basically I just said to them though people will crash they, everyone was crashing in qualifying constantly in the dry I knew there was going to be rain so I just kind of strolled along anytime someone come near I kind of let them pass like I wasn't needing to battle the people I just knew that if I just drove and didn't crash I'd get points yeah and Yes, a very decent point as well. Puts you on to 17 with the two that you got in France. Um, did you... Uh, was you? I guess you were disappointed with the qualifying result, or was it kind of expected? You knew it was going to be difficult? I expected to be down there. I knew it was going to be very difficult. and But I knew qualifying, especially with how many people crashed out. Like I find this track tough, and I imagine a lot of people do. Like, as soon as I saw there was rain as well, like, I knew people were going to find it hard and it wasn't the end, be all and end all the qualifying. Well, all is good, all is good. Um, USA next on the season. Uh, what's your thoughts heading into that track next week? Hmm. Uh, I, I don't know. I, yeah, I feel I'll be okay. I'll do a bit more practice than this week, hopefully. All right. Well, well done on your first podium of the season, and uh, best of luck next week. Thank you. All right, moving to Aston Martin, our race winner, Unity, take it away. Yes. Uh, one tribal. Hello again. Hello. I don't know how you do this. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know, but um, it's a good way to say goodbye to F4, don't you think? Yes. How, how was the race from your point of view? Oh, uh, well, I gambled. I was going to the pits, I literally changed it bef just as I went in. I thought, naff it, let's go, let's try intermediate. And I'll see it being paid out. Yeah, um, when you made that pit stop, I was saying it doesn't look wet enough, but then again, you were on like 12 old laps off, so I do understand that. Um, when you, when Everyone was behind the safety car, you just managed to pull that gap. Were you uh, comfortable in the wet? Was it your strong suit? I mean, last... On the 2020 game, I was quite rubbish in the wet. But I think I've just got used to it over the times. I know where to, you know, where to be careful and, you know... Just be careful with, when getting traction, like, around hurt pins and... Stuff like that. Yeah, um... Next week, you're going to be moving to Division 3, and the first yes. track will be USA. So, what do you want from Division 3, and how will USA be in that division? I don't know. Then I'll be on the division. I literally had a message off Shane at about, I think, 10 o'clock, I think, asking that there's a seat in F3 and that um, he thinks my pace is good enough. And all this an actual the... seat? Yes. In where? Ferrari. Ooh. Oh. Oh. see. Are you replacing? Let's have a look. A free paddock, Ferrari. Oh. Alongside Magic. Yes. Or Macy K or Magic. So. I took my time to thought about it and I thought if he, you know, said my piece, I think, is more in F3 than F4, to be honest. 
Well, as you mostly see, I've won three races in a row. <laughs> so, I think, you know, I think it's time to step up. Yeah, you could. I'd uh... just like to thank F4. You know, the only three races I've done, Fair Play, there's been, you know, no, you know, nothing. They've all been nice and kind, and there's been no arguments, and it's nice to hear. Obviously, it's time to move. You're gonna miss the drama. I yeah. think of everything, you're gonna miss the drama. These first Don't few rounds. I think there's drama. In the races, I mean, I mean, of all the three races, that was yeah. probably the most. Technical. Yeah. Uh, but the thing I'm thinking right now is, as obviously you commentated in F3 yesterday, it was going to be a backup streamer, and they, obviously you can't do that. No. So, you know. Um, but no, as uh, Unity, me and Unity have discussed, I think it's justified. Um, we've always, you know, obviously, if you've shown that you're slightly too quick in F4 and more competitive in F3, I think you will be interesting in F3 because your race base looks very, very strong, um, as well as pretty good qualifying. So, hey, mix it, mix in the likes of uh, Shane, Camo, myself, Eyes the Bear, Grunty, among others. So, all good. Unity, any other questions? No, uh, just good luck next week and try and win your first race. I will try. Master Spirit. Just going to do some quick maths in my head here. Um, obviously, you leave a vacant spot in an Aston, which I believe you maintain the constructor's... Um, spot um, not that you not that you obviously have any call into who takes your seat but of anybody that you could possibly see seen today that maybe you would like or maybe you would find interesting in that seat I mean normally it goes to first reserves normally which yes. would yeah. be that would mean it would be Scotsman oh oh Scots Scotsman and Button in the same team. That'd be an interesting one. Mm. Obviously not our call. Obviously not. it's down to the admins, of course, and everything. Um, but also they could yeah, be someone from F five quicker, and you know. Yeah. yeah. So let me just see the quick maths here. Obviously very provisionally. So Lincoln will move to twenty seven points. Am didn't score. Millsy didn't score. Pierre didn't. score. Race, alien race, immortal, immortal on twenty three button on twenty four. Yes, yeah, so a Lincoln does maintain the lead only just over a few. Definitely makes the championship very interesting. Um, because otherwise you'd be on seventy five points. I think like <laughs> the next best to be on twenty seven. Yeah. So kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, well done, and uh, see you on the grid in USA. Thank you. Sorry for kind of taking over a bit there, Hush. <laughs> oh, it's fine. You, you like asking questions. Um, so, what can we say about that race? Um, the stewards have a lot to sort out, I think, but obviously they will sort out with their professional proper judgment um a few things on that on that race obviously ferrari are now provisionally of course off the starting blocks in kind of a big way because obviously you had pines in second and fish dicks in fifth so they've got out the blocks um a few obviously still need to score a few points as well um a couple continuing their points runs Actually, if I tell if I told told you hush, um, only three drivers have scored points in every round. Who are they? Lincoln, Bun Button, and Immortal. I mean, impressive for Immortal. I mean, considering all three start at the back. 
pretty much. Hopefully not next week. Yeah. USA is next. What are we expecting from that, do you reckon? Penalties, crashes, and close racing, I'm, I'm hoping. Plenty of overtakes. So it's a very good overtaking track, I reckon. So that will be next week, and that is the spot for everyone in RSF1 as we keep our season rolling. The United States of America, the circuit of the Americas, that uphill run to turn one will be the spot for everyone. See what you can do on the first corner, on the first lap. Hopefully, hopefully keeping it clean, because that can cause a few interesting moments for anyone that lunges from like eight cars back. Um, hint, don't do that. You will cause pain and frustration. But F1 kicks everything off on the Sunday. F2 on the Monday, F5 on the Tuesday, F3 on the Wednesday, and back to us Thursday, F4, all 8 o'clock. Make sure you join us for all of those. Good luck to everyone racing, and see you, to, uh, see you next time.